Welcome to Seaway Whiskey Wire. Inside of the bar, we've got the Glen Murray 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. Stay tuned. Well, hey guys, thanks for coming back after the intro. I'm Tyler, and tonight on the bar, we're going to wrap up my series on budget drams with the Glen Murray 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. But before we get into the history and tasting notes and overview of the bottle, uh, if you got yourself a, a bottle of Glen Murray, you got yourself a space side, you got yourself another budget dram, you want to pour one and drink along with me, please do so. I encourage it. It makes life a heck of a lot better for you guys on the other end, and I enjoy you guys drinking along with me. So we'll get, we're going to get into the specs and everything on the bottle here in a minute, but before that I thought we'd just go through a quick overview of the Glen Murray Distillery so we know what we're dealing with here. So what can I tell you about the Glen Murray Distillery? Well, the Glen Murray Distillery is located in the heart of Speyside in Scotland and has been producing single malt whiskies since 1897. And the distillery was established on the site of the Elgin West Brewery, which had been in operation since 1830. And that brewery was converted into a distillery, taking advantage of the ideal region to make whiskey in, which includes rich barley fields and pure water. In the early years, Glen Murray struggled financially and had changes of ownership several times. However, it found stability under the stewardship of McDonald and Muir, a family-owned wine and spirits company, which acquired the distillery back in 1920. And this marked the beginning of a period of growth and modernization with significant investment made to the distillery and its facilities and production capacity. And today, Glen Murray is celebrated around the world and by whiskey enthusiasts for its well-balanced, successful single malt scotch whiskeys. And you know, guys, the glass, this one here is kind of an oddball out in the budget dram series, and we'll get into that with the specs. So we're going to start off by looking at the specs in the Glen Murray 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. So this bottle of Glen Murray single malt comes from the Speyside region in Scotland and hails with an age stamp of 12 years of age. The only one in my budget dram series that actually has an age stamp. Um, ABV wise, it comes in with an ABV of 40% and it's chill filtered and likely color added. doesn't specify anywhere, but again, 40%, I'm gonna assume that it's chill filtered and color added. Maturation process, uh, it specifies American oak, so we can we know that it's ex-bourbon. Um, there is no uh, special casking or anything like that with it. It's just matured in ex-bourbon, which basically gives us a great introduction to the spirit. Um, we'll get into the presentation on the Glen Murray. I like the presentation of this uh, particular bottle and all the Glen Murray uh, products. You get this nice regal box here. I wish there was a bit more information on it, but you know, you get this nice beautiful regal box and nice and crisp. It's a regal looking bottle. It's got a little bit of character to it here. It almost reminds me of an old Pulteney style bottle with that little bubble in it there. Um, there is nothing that says anything about color added and chill, fil uh, chill filtration or anything like that, but we can assume that they, it is. Um, they do mention a little bit of tasting notes on the back, but nothing really about the distillery or whatnot. Um, but you know, it's a nice look and I do think this suits a whiskey novice for sure. Um, we'll give ourselves a pour now and have a look at the liquid inside the Glen Murray 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey. And we'll go in here and take a look at the liquid. I mean, I'm going to go in close here guys. You know, the golden straw is, there is color added to it there. So, I mean, that's what they're looking to kind of reflect on it there is to, you know, make it make it look like it's, you know, ex-bourbon matured and good quality casts and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's got color added, so we're not 100% sure on that. But, yeah, lovely golden straw color on there for sure. All right. Well, you know, we looked at the color. We talked about the presentation of the bottle. Let's get into the, uh, the nose on the Glen Murray 12-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. Let's, uh, let's dig into it here. So a very vibrant, lively nose, I will say that for sure. Very nice. You get these nice fruit notes, these nice fresh, crisp green apples, some honey on there, some brown sugar, nice bourbony notes that go with it there, some vanilla, some lemon zest as well. Maybe a little bit of orange peel, candied orange peel on the back end there for that with that with that uh, lemon zest. Yeah, very light. No, no rough edges to it. It's a very light nose, but very vibrant, very lively. Um, I would say, and yeah, it's it's very very fragrant. I really enjoy this nose. All right. Well, let's get into the uh, let's get into the taste and see what we can get out of the Glen Murray 12 year old single malt Scotch whiskey. So. Solange, to your health, and let's dive into it.
Okay, so this is where I really think this this kind of it's a great place for novices, but also it's like it's a very easy sipping, very vibrant again. The palate matches the nose. You're getting those apples, that honey, like a toffee and some caramel notes in there. A little bit of orange marmalade as well. The candied orange peels or orange marmalade. Get my vanilla. Then you get this nice at the end here. And this is really what I like it is you get that oak and you get that nutmeg and those cloves and it's nice and warming, not overbearing, but it is nice and has that nice little bit of spice at the end. So you're, you're dealing with a kind of a, a two sectional profile here of the nice fresh fruits into that kind of um, uh, vanilla and toffee and then right into that citrus and then into the spice. So, you know, it's a fairly lively palate, um, even at 40%, very smooth and, and drinks very nice and has those nice uh, nice bourbon-esque flavors that a lot of people are out, out there looking for. Um, but yeah, it drinks very smooth. Um, so we'll get to the finish on the Glen Murray and see if we can uh, pick anything else out of there and give you my opinion on the finish. So I'm gonna go in for one more sip and let you know. So finish-wise, Playing with the 40% ABV, it is a short finish. I mean, it's there, I get on my palate, and then it just kind of washes away, ready for the next sip. It's not abrasive, it's not uh, alcoholic, it's not, uh, no rough edges to it. It's very, very smooth, very, very nice, very well balanced. And that fruit, and that, uh, and that citrus, and that spicy little note at the end there, I wouldn't even call it spicy, I think I would just call it spice. But it very much, level sets and goes through those motions of, of just those nice fresh fruits and, and you know vanilla and orange and it's very bourbon-esque I would say that and you know I think that's kind of where this dram finds its appeal um, and again I think it would be great for any kind of whiskey novice uh, and I think it would make a heck of a cocktail as well but uh, you know we all know why everyone's here budget dram series we're gonna have to get the value proposition on this so this bottle of Glen Murray 12 year old uh, single malt, I picked it up for $62. And you know, ent solid entry level into Glen Murray. Uh, you know, like the little history lore piece I said at the start said, their big thing is doing different casks. So I think this is kind of like their base spirit of what they kind of start off with and then exercise uh, certain cask maturations or finishings and do all these kind of cool special casks. I think they'd be very interesting to try. Um, and I think it would just be great for novices, cocktails, um, this particular uh, bottle. Um, and at 62 bucks, I mean, you know, if you want to compare this to some of the big boys out there, the Glen Livet, the uh, Glen Fittick, Glen Morangi, um, this beats it by about 10 bucks. And I mean, it's a solid, solid whiskey for 10 bucks. A great entry level for, for, or for $62, pardon me, um, into whiskey. And I think, you know, any novice would be lucky to have this. Would I recommend this over the other two? I would probably say no. <laughs> I would recommend this to a novice that's trying to get into whiskey. I'd recommend this to somebody who's into bourbon that wants to get into scotch. This is another great entry into it. Would I recommend it over the De Deanston Virgin Oak? Uh, I personally would not. <laughs> I think we've uh, we've all kind of uh, established that already that Deanston Virgin Oak is my, my pick in the budget dram series for sure. But I think this place, uh, this Glen Murray 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey is, uh, it, it does have a place in the marketplace. Um, and I think it's a great entry level in there. It's got an age stamp and it's got some nice flavors and it's not too terrible with respect to being, um, you know, easy, accessible and affordable. And um, there's a bad, bad choice of words there on the terrible, I, I take that back. <laughs> but yeah, it is definitely one of those affordable and available and accessible drinks for sure. And that's my thoughts and opinions on the Glen Murray 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey. So. Hopefully you liked that uh, video there and liked the Budget Dram series. I really enjoyed putting it together for you. And uh, yeah, if you guys uh, like what we're doing here at Seaway Whiskey Wire, like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Seaway Whiskey Wire. Well, guys, <laughs> the Budget Dram series is wrapped up and I'm ready to get into some uh, some other cool stuff coming down the pipeline here and uh, kind of get back to some some high test stuff. So we'll see what uh, what it brings. I've got a, got a lovely schedule planned for you guys. So I uh, hope you guys will find uh, some enjoyment out of it in the coming weeks. So um, 
we'll say uh, good night and all that to you guys. Solange, to your health, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now, guys. Thank you.